Thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank organizers for giving me a good chance to present our recent result on biomagnetic TMR based sensors. I'm Mikihiko Ogane from Tokyo University and Yasu Group. So, uh, as you know, a uh, magnetic sensor is widely used in various fields and there is a very large market. And among uh, many kinds of magnetic sensors, our TMO sensors has features of high sensitivity, small size, local consumption, and low price. Uh, this is the operation principle of TMR-based sensor. As you know, uh, TMR sensor is based on magnetic energy junctions with uh, orthogonal easy axis alignment of free layer and pin layer. Okay. And when we apply magnetic field, parallel to the pin layer is axis, we can get linear response of output against the external magnetic field. And the sensitivity of the sensor is defined as TMR over 2HK. HK is magnetic nitrogen field. So in order to uh, obtain very high sensitivity, we need high TMR ratio and small magnetic anisotropic field. And 2HK is also dynamic range of the TMR sensor. Uh, recently, the sensitivity of the TMR sensor is dramatically increasing by using the cobalt based more faster magnet because of their very excellent soft magnet properties. Up to now, a maximum sensitivity of 115 percent per Earth was achieved by using cobalt ion C component thermometer as pre layer material. And this sensitivity is enough to detect magnetic cardiography, MCZ, from human heart and MEZ, magnetic encephalography, from human brain. Okay, so this is a picture of our TMO sensor. We prepare TMO sensor on three inch silicon warehouse. And this uh, red square is the one TMO sensor chip. In this area, 100 times 100 MTGs are integrated and the size of single MTG is 30 times 30 micrometer square. And this sensor chip is connected to the amplifier and the filter circuit. And this is a picture of our TMO sensor module. Okay. Question? Yes, but let's reply at the end. Question is clear. It means that the magnetization orientation is free, not the layer, but it seems that the first one you can say the physically free layer is no uh free layer is an example here. So uh uh free layer means uh, magnetization of free layer is very sensitive to the uh bright magnetic field. So <clears throat> this magnetization easily rotate to the external magnetic field. Okay. On the other hand, pin layer uh, magnetization is fixed. 
So uh, this doesn't rotate to by the external magnetic field. Okay. So uh, return back to the MCD measurement. So uh, we measured MCD by using our TMO sensor module. So uh, this blue one is electrical signal as difference. And red signals are magnetic signals. As you can see, for real time measurement, we observe only our peaks, the highest peak of MCZ. But by increasing averaging time, we can clearly see QRS wave of MCZ. This is a fast demonstration of MCZ measurement by TMO sensor. And next, we also tried an easy measurement from human brain. We measured uh, alpha rhythm, alpha wave of the human. Uh, blue one is electrical signal and red one is magnetic signal, MED. As you can see, the MED signal is too noisy. Also, we made 10,000 times aberration. So uh, anyway, this is the first demonstration of MED measurement at room temperature by thermal sensors. However, we need further improvement of detectivity, so reduction of the noise. <laughs> For uh, to achieve, uh, to realize the actual MCG or MEC system. Okay. So uh, today I'd like to talk about recent progress on um, in sensor development. First topic is improvement of detectivity in demon sensors. We have achieved very small detectivity, one peak tesla powder hertz at one hertz and 50 fem tesla powder hertz at one kilohertz. And second topic is biomagnetic field measurement by using improved TMO sensor. We measured MCZ, MEZ and nuclear magnet resonance and MR. And finally, I'd like to show you the result of demonstration of environmental noise cancelling. Okay, let's move to the first topic. So this is uh, uh, our demo sensor structure. So we use cobalt ion silicon boron, the same cobalt ion boron layer. And the pin layer structure is cobalt ion boron, the same cobalt ion, and the region manganese. And the insulating layer is MCO. And we prepared MZO barrier by natural oxidation process of metallic magnesium. And the position was carried out by DC and RSS battering technique. And microfabrication was carried out by photolithography and argon ion beam. And Thermal sensor structure, uh, there are 74 C MTGs array, and we use magnetic flux concentrator like this T shape. Okay. 
and the length of MTG array is about seven millimeter. And we uh, connect this demo sensor to 100 decibel amplifier and 0.1 to 200 bandpass filter for MCP and image measurement. This is the result of improvement of MTCA's films. Left figure shows the uh, image ratio versus resistance area product. In our previous work, we used nickel iron free layer, and at the time, chemo ratio was only 100%. But by changing its free layer material to cobalt iron silicon boron, chemo ratio was dramatically improved. And recently, we optimized the uh, and zero fabrication process, and we have achieved very nice team ratio over 200%. And this is a team image of MDJ with very high team ratio. And we have investigated uh, as a resistance area product dependence of detectivity of the sensor. As you can see, by decreasing of our product, detectivity decreased, and minimum detectivity was one peak tesla at one health. And light figure shows low detectivity spectrum for low array biases with out magnetic flux concentrator and with magnetic flux concentrator with red point. As you can see, MSC gain is about 70. And we have achieved very, very small detectivity of one peak tesla at one hertz and 200 m tesla at 10 hertz and 50 m tesla at 1 kilohertz. This very small detectivity is much smaller than the uh, previous conventional magnet resistive sensor. And this is the history of detectivity improvement for this 10 years. So uh, we have achieved very small detectivity and this uh, detectivity is enough to detect MEG and nuclear magnet resonance signals. And this is the comparison between our chemo sensor and other highly sensitive magnetic sensors. So uh, x axis is dynamic range and y axis is detectivity. So basically, uh, detectivity and dynamic range has trade off relationship like this. However, our TMO sensor has very large dynamic range above the aspect and also very small detectivity of big Tesla to detect the biomagnetic field. So <clears throat> our sensor can detect very small, very weak biomagnetic field without magnetic seed room. This is a great advantage of our team of sensor. So our next topic is biomagnetic field measurement by using improved team of sensors. 
so we put TMR sensor on the for the surface practice and we measure NC signal uh, parallel to the uh, body surface and sensing axis is this direction. That one is low data of MCC. You can see long period wave and uh, very sharp peaks. These sharp peaks are MCC signal and long period is caused by the body movement by free. And to eliminate this long field wave, we use band pass filter of 10 to 30 hertz. As a result, we got very nice MCD signal like this full one. So I'd like to show you the our measurement data. Wait a moment. <coughs> this is a result of real time measurement of MCG. Ah, upper one is MCC and the lower one, one is this is a measurement. As you can see, very clear MCG was obtained by real-time measurement of this. Okay. And we have also developed 64 channel TMO based sensor system with very hard, a very nice detectivity like this. And we confirmed all the TMO sensor can detect MCG signal clearly as this. And finally, we got a mapping bit of MCG like this. And we also try to measure MCG. Hopefully, question. Okay, so you can ask the question at the end, at the end of the talk. Okay. So uh, we have also tried the uh, image measurement. We try to measure any 20 M reaction. This magnetic field is induced by electric stimulus to the device. So after the pulse, the signal rise at, at the 20 milliseconds. So this is called N20M reaction. We can clearly see the signal like this by uh, thousand times averaging. So oh, this is very, very nice data. And we have also tried to measure nuclear magnetic resonance by using TMO sensor. So uh, first we try to measure proton NMR by using like this water bottle. This coal is uh, excitation coal. So uh, first we excite the nuclear magnet by this pulse bound field of 10 meters. And after the pulse, we can measure pre Induction decay signal of nuclear magnet. This is the measurement system. And this is the typical data for XYD of NMR. 
So you can see our frequency signal like this. And this is a FFT result. Resonance frequency is about 2.1 kilohertz. This is consistent with expected NMO frequency like this. So we conclude we have successfully observed NMO signal by using TMO sensor. And they are very, very weak this environment field. So uh, we believe our sensor can be applied to compact MRI system in the future. So finally, I'd like to show you the result of demonstration of noise counseling. Uh, we can reduce environmental noise by using two TMO sensors. One measures the talent signal and environmental noise. And the other sensor measures only environmental noise. So environment noise can reduce by measuring difference of two TMO sensors. This is called gradio meta system. This is a demonstration of noise reduction in our university room from noise from air conditioner and from elevator. As you can see, noise is reduced by using this gradiometer system and this noise reduction is enough to measure biomimic field in the uh, normal environment. This is a uh, uh, result of MCG measurement outside of the magnet magnetic field. You can see QRS wave of MCG was clearly observed using this gradual metric TMO sensor system. Okay, finally, uh, I'd like to show you the promotion movie of our MEG system using TMR at the moment. So we plan to develop each helmet type MEG system using our TMR sensor. I want to skip. This is the image of sensing of the brain field. So, okay, maybe it's too long, so maybe uh, you can understand our concept of our image. We want to develop very compact and room temperature operation image system by using our highly sensitive demo sensor. Okay. Okay, that's all. So thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much.